years ago, my cousin and I, he's a Marine Corps vet, Air Force vet, we would talk on the phone for two to three hours a day, especially after 2008. We had a lot of things to talk about, console each other, decide on what we're going to do. And four years ago, we decided to take our own money and put together... I'm late, I got lost. <laughs> so that we could get out the information to millennials, we could get out the information to those folks that, that are in their 20s and coming up and they don't know, they don't know what's real, they don't know what's right.
And then finally, Rush figured it out. He said, oh, you're talking about the uh, speech. Yeah, the night was I said, yeah, yeah. He started just like JFK. So this gentleman had to be about 90 years old. <laughs> Lifelong Democrat. So Rush talks to him a little bit more, and then they hang up, and Rush says, you know, folks, I can't help but think that there's hundreds of thousands of Russians out there now after this speech. Yeah. And I tend to agree with them. Yeah. Yeah. But here's the deal. Here's the real deal. We've been given a great opportunity. We cannot get back and happy. Now the work really begins. Like Mike was saying up front at the top, get involved. Stay involved. Recruit others. You see all these snowflakes out there? Right. I was at the breakfast in Sharonville this morning, the pancake breakfast, and there was at least 200 of these people. And they were paid, no doubt. But they were in force. They were, they are resolute. But like I said earlier, you can't stop. So stay involved, get involved, recruit others. And just remember that when you do it, pump the trunk, explain the train, and float. Don't float. Yeah. You'll never win anybody over yeah. by being overbearing. You'll catch a lot more flies with honey than you will vinegar. Amen. We need to continue to win. So now's the time to pounce, folks. So I want to thank everybody for coming out. Thank you for listening to me. And uh, I just want to, uh, again, sort of reiterate what Mike was saying about the Sanctuary City protest that's happening next Saturday, March the 11th, that I was interviewed by WCPO TV at last Saturday, and they totally, totally, Cherry picked what I said. That's right. And didn't use at all what I wanted them to. We were we had the misfortune of having a very small crowd. And then what they did was they used a couple things that I said and then they went over to the Pro Sanctuary City um, event that was later that night. And they basically pitted me and Jeremiah, who's at our table, against some of the pro-sanctuary city people and made it look as if we had nothing. And they put those people in front of the very citizens of Cincinnati that actually voted for those Democrats who voted for that sanctuary city thing. So I'm urging everybody here today to find that sheet and show up next Saturday, March the 11th at 4, well, at 2, 2 o'clock, same time as today, just a week later. From 2 to 4, it's at the District 1 Police Station, 310 Ezra Charles Drive in Cincinnati, Ohio. It's right next to Taft High School. You can't miss it. The cops will be there protecting us. There will be no snowflakes. Please come and support our efforts to take back our city and our county. Thank yes. you so much. Thank you. Our last speaker today is going to be Lisa Watkins. Come on over. Woo! Hi, everybody. How y'all doing? Hey, Lisa. Hello. You know, just modeling what my dad is saying, okay. we are in a war. You know, on November... I was really thinking, 51, everything would be cool. Yeah. Nope. <laughs> I know. We have been at a battle after battle after battle. And the words are very true. We need to continue to support. We need to continue to reach out to people. Even people who are against you, you need to continue to have a conversation with them. That is more stronger now than ever. And I... I <laughs> I see that on a daily basis, okay? 
uh, it was, uh, I'll say, about May 2015 when I got, or 2016 when I got on the truck training. Yeah! And all six. Woo! The best decision of my life, yeah. I tell you. And I have never seen a man so humble. That's right. So willing to put God first. Yeah. When's the last time we had someone to put God first? Amen. Yeah. God should always be first. And Amen. Trump is willing to do that. But I've never seen a man like him who is willing to fight against the devil himself. Yeah. And that is what Trump is doing every single day. Amen. Yeah. And so, I'm going to cut this short. It's not going to be too long. But it is very important that we continue to fight, that we continue to stand hand in hand. When there is opposition, you listen to them, listen to their opposition. They have a reason for why they believe in what they believe in. But you always come back with facts. Okay. You always come back about this is the reason why Trump is in office and it's to help you. Yes. Okay? Woo! Yes. I know there's a lot of stuff going on. And there's a lot of people trying to use the Underground Railroad and try to compare it to the, the legal immigration. It is, and it's a smack in the face to my ancestors, but I continue to listen to what they're saying, but I come back with facts, and I let them know this is nowhere near what is going on, what was going on back then, okay? Amen. So, again, let's continue to support the president. Yes. Let's continue to uh, give him praise. Yes. And there's going to be times we have to you know, show some, you know, serious hand, like, hey, Mr. President, what are you doing? Yeah. But he is against so much fighting right now. We don't even know what to, you know, criticize him on. He is in a fight every single day. Yeah. And um, I listen to Wayne Dupree show, Safety on the Right, yeah. Yeah, and uh, Dennis Michael Lynch. Yeah. And they all have people coming out to, like, uh, you know, people from the other side addressing these speakers and I was always asking, why don't you criticize the president? Well, the president is in a fight every single day. And so like I said before, continue to join things that are for Trump. Yes. Continue to be on Facebook and have intellectual conversation with people even if they disagree with you. And continue to fight. Continue to be on the tough train. God bless you. Woo! God bless our troops, our veterans, a lot of our veterans. Hey. Yes. And God bless the United States of America. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Thank you. Well, at this time, we're going to conclude this event. I just want everyone to understand we're going to do this again. Yeah! yeah. I repeat, we are going to do this again.